Celebrities who warned us about Sasha Baron Cohen. First up, we have to talk about Rebel Wilson. In her new memoir, Rebel Rising, the actress said that she felt harassed and humiliated by Sasha on the set of her 2016 movie, The Brothers Grimsby. She wrote, The movie bombed, which to me was karma enough. I'm not about cancelling anybody, and that's not my motivation for sharing this story. I'm sharing my story now because the more women talk about things like this, hopefully the less it happens. Rebel said that she will never be on a movie set with Sasha Baron Cohen again. When she played a game of Plead the Fifth with Andy Cohen, she revealed that no sum of money, not even a whopping $50 million, could convince her to work with him again. She said, I have now a no a-holes policy with work. And that basically summed up her experience. A representative for Sasha came out with a statement in response to that, saying, while we appreciate the importance of speaking out, these demonstrably false claims are directly contradicted by by extensive detailed evidence, including contemporaneous documents, film footage, and eyewitness accounts from those present before, during and after the production of The Brothers Grimsby. Next, we have Ryan Seacrest. The red carpet reporter may have thought that the 2012 Oscars would be another great chance to interview A-list stars, but the glamorous occasion quickly turned to a nightmare when he was confronted by Sasha, who just happened to be promoting his new film at the time, The Dictator, while dressed as his character, General Ali. At the ceremony, Sasha appeared in full costume, flanked by two female bodyguards carrying a golden urn supposedly containing someone's ashes. Midway through his interview with Ryan, Sasha emptied the urn all over him and the ashes went everywhere. The reporter was pretty shocked at first and quickly tried to dust off the ashes, but he was clearly upset with the prank and he tried to keep his cool given that his tuxedo was completely ruined. He then gets handed a towel and does his best to clean up the mess, all while smiling to himself and trying to save face. For his part, Sasha then makes a big show about being escorted off the red carpet, but he stays in character the whole time, and then he can be seen arguing with the security guard in the background, trying to get the ashes back. The whole incident was a carefully orchestrated publicity stunt, but the only person who wasn't in on the joke was Ryan Seacrest. In fact, he might have been a bit traumatized from the prank because he actually refused to interview the comedian again when he ran into him four years later at the Oscars in 2016. Moving on to Isla Fisher. The Wedding Crashes actress shared a joint statement to her Instagram story to announce her divorce from Sasha. She wrote, after a long tennis match lasting over 20 years, we are finally putting our rackets down. In 2023, we jointly filed to end our marriage. We have always prioritized our privacy and have been quietly working through this change. We forever share in our devotion and love for our children. We sincerely appreciate you respecting our family's wish for privacy. After the two of them announced they were ending their marriage, an insider claimed that Sasha had been talking to divorce lawyers in the summer of 2023. Apparently, it wasn't the first time that they had explored a possible split because they also reached out to divorce lawyers several years ago. So whatever their issues, they had been going on for a while. Sasha and Isla first met at a 2001 party in Sydney, years before either of them actually became famous. They then married on March 15th in 2010. Although they had been together for more than 20 years, it's clear that in this case, they just could not make that work. Sasha has never shied away from making people uncomfortable with his comedy, which has earned him plenty of criticism for the better part of two decades. But some people think he went too far when he took aim at Jessica Simpson. During an appearance at the 2006 MTV Movie Awards, while he was dressed as Borat, he made a joke saying that she had a camel toe. Of course, the joke did not go over well, but then instead of backing off, he doubled down during his interview with GQ. He said, I do not know why Mrs. Simpson's upset by my speeches. I was extremely complimentary about her movie, The Lords of Hazard, and commented that in it, she had a beautiful mouth, which I could see through her denim shorts. Yeah, that was way too much. His character Borat became a cultural phenomenon with the release of the feature film in 2006, which earned Sasha a Golden Globe for Best Actor in a Motion Picture. Of course, controversy also followed. Multiple people featured in the mockumentary ended up suing the producers of the movie, saying that they were lying to about what they were participating in. All of the cases were eventually dismissed, but some of these instances were really damaging. Which brings us to our next person, Dharma Arthur, a news producer for ABC affiliate in Jackson, Mississippi. She claimed that she had lost her job after being duped by Sasha and allowing Borat to appear on their broadcast. In a letter to Newsweek, she wrote, because of him, my boss lost faith in my abilities and second guessed everything I did thereafter. How upsetting that a man who leaves 
leave so much harm in his path is applauded as a comedic genius. While the film is understood to be a parody, it did involve real people who obviously didn't know that they were a part of it. And yes, there were real consequences for that. So what do you think? Please let us know in the comments below.